the days when you needed to travel miles to send money, spend hours on long queues, and fill up lengthy forms. Trash that. Moneyfix. Did you know with Moneyfix you could send money at the comfort of your home? At the convenience of your schedule and the speed of light. At Moneyfix, we offer you fast, easy to use service at the best rates. Try us and save up. My name is Nelly Singer, and it is my honor to present to you one of Africa's top rising institutions. For starters, the interesting thing about being an influencer is that I get to choose which organizational brand I affiliate with. Having said that, it is an immense privilege for me to introduce you to the world of Information and Communications Technology University, ICTU, Yaoundé Cameroon Campus. ICTU runs a U.S. curriculum with three yearly intakes. The spring intake in February, the summer intake in July, and the fall intake in October. ICTU courses are designed to place you on the cutting edge of innovation, technology, and strategic global leadership. Our goal is to extend access into top quality diplomas, bachelors, masters, certification, consulting, network designs, and a unique PhD program which offers opportunities for international research and collaboration. Our courses include Information and System Networking, Information and Communication Technology, Computer Sciences, Engineering or Renewable Energy, Accounting Information Technology, Accounting, Banking and Finance, Business Management and Sustainable Development, science of education, public health, business administration, Cisco, Microsoft, health information technology. Please join us in our February 2021 intake in our Yaoundé Cameroon campus, open for both English and French students, including those with baccalaureate. For more details, do contact us on our website, www.ictuniversity.edu.cm. Thank you and God bless. Hi guys. Hey. Hi guys. I'm so so sorry, okay? I'm so sorry. I know that it's too many things for you to deal with. I'm I've been trying to handle this. It's it's too much work to do by myself. Guys, share the video, share the video from hearts. You know how we do it here. I've been trying to do a lot of things by myself, but I just hope that, okay, we can. <laughs> Guys, share the video. Can you hear me? Let me see the comments. Guys, share the video, please. Let's have an awesome show. Happy Mother's Day to every mother on DMs. Hey. 
thank you guys. If you guys knew, know where I my 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 camera is hung. <laughs> like I'm sorry, <laughs> guys. Share the video. Share, share, share. Let's do this, okay? I'm trying to, it's, it's, it's a massive dashboard here, and I'm trying to find my way, guys. Please share the video, okay? Just share, share, share. Pump hearts. I'm trying to speak, see the comments. I'm so sorry, I'm a mess. But don't just bear with me. So my camera is hanging somewhere, okay, and I'm just trying to do this. Please bear with me, okay? Hi, hi, hi. Share the video, guys. Share, share, share. I know this is an entirely new setup. It's new. It's very new. It's quite new. It's quite different. But hey, we had to do it. Do something for a change, okay? I mean, coming live with the. We should go past. I thought we should go past coming going live with the the usual. Um, <laughs> um, um, set up the phone thingy and all of that. So I thought, okay, I think it's better to do this. Okay, guys, share the video. Share, share, share. Share, share, okay, share. I'm trying my best to handle everything at once. So share the video, guys. Please share the video. Tag your friends. I have to <laughs> guys just bear with me okay <laughs> okay so that's it we have guys share the video share share as much as possible so when i'm streaming with the, the software i'm using it doesn't really give out signals like that so that's why you see so it's hard i need to insist on you sharing the video because on its own it will not do the job okay so please share the video let's have an interesting time together um let me see those in the comments uh what did it, i'll have to use my phone on this one um aqua chi i see you sweetheart um blay blay i see you i guess that's blessing or so brenda brenda i see you rutansia akum i see you um charlotte fonbu Hey, sweetheart. Adela Egbe, um, Lionel Ofon. Hey, I see you. Risa Fuas, Fuas, Z, uh, Versan. Hey, darling. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Guys, yes, it's climbing. It's beginning to climb. Please share the video. Okay, let's do this. Um, Lum Rilindis, I see you. Um, Fosong Linda. Hey, Fanuela Zisinui. I see you, darling. Adeline Sabu, hey. El As Osel Despacito Magnifico, hey. <laughs> That's an awesome one. Zipu Spice, hey. Khan Eugene, hi, bro. I see you. Um, Fanel, Jay, I've seen you already. Um, Ono Abu, Abu, um, yeah, Desiree Jacob. Aurora, that your name, Princess Kash. Guys, just bear with the fact that my 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 video is my is coming from up. Okay, share, share, share. I see those who are sharing. Fla Franklin Fofung, I see you. Della Della, I see you. Vu Vugosu, Victorine, hey, I see you. Afanui Linda, and Ngochan Sabi, hey. Hey, that's my classmate, University of Yaoundé, too. So I see you, sister. Long time. Kayla Ngala, I see you, sweetheart. Share the video, guys. Share, share, share. Okay. So let let let's let's start. As you can see on the screen, okay, this is um, episode two of Hello Delhi. Okay, so that's how it's titled. I know there's been a lot of changes recently. Like I said earlier, remember. Uh, we've, we we were not used to coming on live every now and then, but I did have had, had to change because I did not just want to limit it to me coming on here and just talking to you all the time 
okay i thought other people coming on board will make all the difference guys keep sharing the video share 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 i see you i see you i see you and so from hence you will be having me sundays hopefully every sunday and you would be having um relationship hot topics by denzel uh, emanuela and bisong and myself as well on that one so we have different views and then of course we'll be having an, a slot for entrepreneurship which is run by which will be run by um roland formundam okay and of course again we will be having hopefully we can set that up um, a slot where a doctor a medical practitioner can come up and explain to you all of the medical help that you guys are needing and what you should and what you shouldn't do everything as far as medical is concerned so hey it's going to be um a jam-packed platform with awesome um, um ideas awesome persons okay so get used to already um i would i think i would start now okay um, it's not been a very considerable amount of persons joining, but hey, let's start. And I guess they're going to join us later on. So if you are new on this platform, um, this has been an exceptional case from last year and it's just brought forward. OK, but hey, something did happen. I'll talk about that later on why I had to bring it up. So I will just go ahead and read it. Yeah, you have to be patient because it's been a series of of, of back and forth with with this particular case okay we had to deal with it i promise i was going to go live one or two things happened and i just let it sleep but hey it came up again and i thought you know what how about us using it to do our show for today so okay let me go to the cases the way it was sent to me guys keep sharing the video share the video share the video i've told you this software I'm using doesn't really do a good job at it, okay? Uh, da, 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 da. Take this off. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys, just bear with me. We're going to get better at this very soon, I promise. <laughs> right, okay, so let me start. So this exceptional case, exceptional case 766, so you can... We are almost at 3,000, so you can only imagine that was sent to us on the 14th of May, 2020. So you can only imagine how far back this stems, okay? So I will try as much as possible to read, to be fast with my reading, okay? So pay attention, okay? It is a call-in show, of course, so just so that you guys don't forget. The number is there, but not now, please. Just wait till later, okay? Hello, Auntie Delhi. Hope you're doing good. I must appreciate you for all your countless efforts in helping the people. I have a very serious problem that has been troubling me for a long time now. My husband, whom I've been married for three years, now seems and sounds funny these days. My husband plays with my young auntie up to the point. My husband tells her to be cooking his food and he doesn't want me to stress. I refuse, but rather it all went on a deaf ear. My auntie is now in my house and has deliberately refused to leave after spending a year in my house. She is the only one I got and she is claiming she has nowhere to go due to the crisis and coronavirus. My auntie puts my husband on her profile on WhatsApp and even posts him on her status. She she is on what she is not yet married sister delhi and i'm scared she is like a mother to me what i'm confused is that i don't know if she wants to take my man or she is just being happy sister delhi it's like i'm the stranger sometimes when i come back from work um, she has washed my husband's dresses and when i asked she said my husband told her to I confronted my husband and she shouted at me that it's my mother and she has the right. Sometimes I come home, but my husband and my auntie are not home, only for me to see them coming with roasted fish for me. I'm restless, I need help. I have just a little brother and her parents are no more. My husband 
don't longer listen to me, but my auntie. I've told her to go, but she said only my husband will tell her to go, and she goes. She said she wants to teach me how to take care of a man. Sister Delhi, I'm confused. How can I send her packing? Because my husband said he can never send her away, that she is of great help. I'm now a stranger in my own house. Help me, Sister Delhi, for your followers to give ideas. That is just the first part. So this is the woman talking, okay? And of course, as expected, the entire place went gaga, went gaga like that, you know? Everybody was angry. But for some few who were still very posed at that time because it was just one-sided story. And you guys know what it means to share one-sided story. So then the, the story continues. Guys, keep sharing, please, keep sharing. Okay, we're gonna have an awesome time today. So that's the next part of the story comes. You have to be patient, okay? Because it's, it's, a, it's a long one, but it's, and it's really detailed, but we need all of these to be able to dissect and properly talk to these people. And of course, those who are going through similar things. So um, this is the second one. It reads, hello, Auntie Delhi. I'm happy writing to you. A cousin of mine saw a case on your platform which talks about me playing love games with my wife's cousin and my wife's auntie and allowing her to do the chores for me in my house. Yes, it's true. And mind you guys, this, he wrote through WhatsApp. So the wife wrote through um, Messenger. He came through WhatsApp. So I wasn't quite sure, you know. So it seems because they're using fake profiles. Yes, it's true. I've always begged this woman to help me out with household activities. She would tell me she is tired as well, as I'm also tired from work. We both are working, working class, but she is too authoritative. And so sometimes I come back from work late and we'll have to wash the dresses with her own as well, cook food and do some house chores. She mistreats house helps and also She mistreats house help and also, and so I deny her from bringing any in the house. Now she brought her auntie in the house who had this pity of what was happening and decided to be helping me out after complaining to her daughter. She never changed. So I fell in love with her auntie. Guys, it doesn't get any interesting than this, does it? She never changed, so I fell in love with her auntie. And now she is carrying my child, and there is nothing she can do about it because I have suffered a lot in the hands of my wife. Just because she is a working class and she contributes financially, she thinks she is super powerful. Now she wants me to make amends. It's too she wants to make amends, but it's too late. I'm already far gone with her auntie and ready for a divorce. I need a woman. I know dating her auntie is wrong, but I'm in love with her because she is just a wife I would, I'm pleased with. My wife wasn't like this before. She immediately changed after she was made boss at her work. I'm confused right now. Okay, guys, just so we understand, I know most of you must have been asking, okay, auntie, niece, when I got to talk with her, it, it, it um, of course, the understanding rather that I had from the story is, it is an auntie that is um, of the same age. You guys would understand this. So it's an auntie that is of the same age. They are of the same age, they are of the same age group like that. So it's not like very old auntie. So it's just this kind of aunties that you're more with than, or they're more than you with just about a few years. So you guys literally are age mates like that. So it's not the very um, huge age difference okay so that is what happened another thing about this second bit is to understand that these um, niece got to know about the pregnancy of her auntie from the platform because she was still being suspicious at some point in time so she came to complain but according to the husband um to the, the his cousin oh yeah actually saw the story and could tell that that's coming from the wife but the husband had to speed up some fire so i'll go to the next one like i said guys just bear with me because it is a bit long but it's needful it's necessary 
Okay, so the third one, <laughs> and like I said, it doesn't, it doesn't really get any interesting than this, does it? Let me get to the, the next one. Okay. Oops. Oops. I hope that I got it right. I wanted to get, since I said I posted, I, I copied the link twice. Guys, bear with me, please. Share the video. Please share. Okay, share. Let's, let's do this. Next. Okay. So, if... It looks like I am, um, I didn't, uh, da, da, da. okay, let me get it. Sorry guys, just bear with me. Keep sharing, pumping my heart. It's not an easy task doing this, okay? I'm trying to get the auntie's first version because she came more than once. The wife as well came um, a second time. So I want to read the auntie's first one before I get into um, the wife's second, okay? Oh boy, I'm sorry. I thought I put it together with me. Um. <laughs> oh boy. I'm trying to. Emma, if you're there, sweetheart, can you see if you can get me the link of the last one? Um, while I'm checking the last one, let me read the, the auntie's second response, okay? Before I get to read the first, the, and the, no, the auntie's first response. Uh, the wife, that's the wife's um, second response before I get on the auntie's one, because, of course, um, we need to hear the third party's one first. But let me just read it so that I don't take much time. So the wife of, this is how I captioned it actually, came back lamenting. So good morning, Auntie Delhi. So this is the wife coming back after having read from the husband and the auntie from the platform. Okay, this is what, what she came up with. So she said, good morning, Auntie Delhi. I've read all of what my aunt and husband wrote. Yes, I accept that all that I, that I accept. I did all that, but I apologize to my husband. He doesn't want to listen until I was served a divorce letter yesterday evening. I can't believe what is happening because it feels like I'm dreaming. I now sleep on the couch in my own house and my aunt who is supposed to be my mother is making love to my own husband until I can get it. I don't have any child yet, and I have never known my husband to be a cheat since we got married. I don't know if they had an affair ever since because I was connected to my husband through my aunt. I'm 34 years old, and my aunt is 36, just so that you know, just to what I, I said earlier on. She is the last one of my mother's family. There were just three of them. Now I am left just with her, so I don't know where to turn to because my father, my father's people don't even have my time. I am a banker. My job is very demanding. Didn't mean to treat my husband that way. I just didn't have the chance. I know I exaggerated, but I contributed hugely for the house, of course, she meant financially. So is my crime, is it my crime? Is my crime that huge that I can't be forgiven for a second and, um, for a second, and the reason my aunt will have the nerve to sleep with my husband, I tried confronting my husband, my aunt, but she told me I'm a loser. I should go date my boss, or am I really dreaming? <laughs> Guys, as, 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 as crazy as this story sounds, that is how I received it, okay? Um, I need to get the version. I don't know, okay, those of you in the comments, Please, can you kindly see if you can get the link of the auntie's response, okay? I, uh, let me see if I can get it, can quickly get it. But just try and see if you can get it and send to me, guys, please. I really, really need it because we need it to complete the story. Okay, share the video, keep sharing, keep sharing. Okay. That's awesome. Guys, mm, hi guys, share, 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 please. 
share, keep sharing, keep sharing. Oh boy, I'm so sorry. I thought I, I had to copy the link. I copied it twice thinking I copied that one. That's for sure. Um, yeah, I can see you. I see you guys. I see, I see, I see. Keep sharing. Okay. <laughs> Share, yeah, guys. I know you're boiling to speak, but please just bear with me. This is really long, so I need to take my time and do it the right way. No calls yet, guys, please. Don't call yet, okay? I need to make one or two things before, say one or two things. Let's see. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. Can I, can I, let me just check in the comments if you, anybody has had the link. Sorry, guys. I know this is a mess, but please just bear with me, okay? Um, did you manage to, oh, somebody has sent it. Is that it? No, no, you're not late, okay? Just bear with me. Let me see if I can get it. I'm using different devices. Let me see if I can get it from the comments. Has anybody dropped it in the comments, guys? Have you dropped it in the comments? It's um, Claudia, can you send it through WhatsApp, please? If you see on the screen, you would see the WhatsApp number. Claudia Mundi, please send it to WhatsApp because I can't, it, it, the, the link wouldn't open. I'm not sure why. It will not open. Yeah, okay. I'm using my computer and it's a different link altogether. Okay, it's not opening. Please just send through WhatsApp. I'll get it. Okay, guys. Okay, okay, okay. So while she is looking for that link, I want to read the one for, okay, that's it. So auntie again after that. So we would wait for her first version. While we wait for her first version, let's read how the story turned out. And then the auntie came again. Auntie Delhi, I'm confused. Okay. So after all of that happened, left and so he came in, she came again on the 20th of November. That's a, I think the pregnancy was... She was almost to something. My calculations are right. And she's, and today I'm confused because my husband just chased me out of the house for my so-called friend. And today I love this man so much. Yes, it was my niece, this husband, but we were both in love and I thought he loved me as much as I do. And today this man is evil and he can't get away with this. Bless me. How can I cope with this trauma? Because I'm losing my mind right now. I sacrifice my everything to make this man happy. All I could get is disgrace and shame. It's re it really hurts, Auntie. Please help me and advise me because I'm going mad already. <laughs> okay, guys, this is when the platform actually got really gaga like that, like everybody. And I heaved literally speaking i heaved a sigh of relief like that okay so you know how we waited we waited we wanted a feedback we waited nothing showed up people were scared like oh maybe this cousin of hers i mean this niece of hers actually committed suicide or something we as and expectations we, we wanted to know more about the story so that happened i have to to face you guys now because it's um Okay, thank you. I guess somebody just sent it to me now. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. 
Okay, that's auntie's own case. I just the way I, I, I captioned it, so I couldn't get it. Auntie Madame of 7666 comes six six actually comes out <laughs> to clear her name. That's how I caption it. Good evening, Auntie Delhi. I was called to visit your page on Facebook concerning a case about me and my niece's husband. I'm the auntie they are talking about. I know what is happening seems wrong, but it's not my fault. My niece maltreated her husband and tried, and I tried my best to caution her, but she refused. She said she contributed for the house, so everything will be equal. I pitied this man and had to do all the chores for him. My niece sometimes even abandoned her panties and that of her husband for me to wash. She turns me into a slave to take care of her husband for her. I tried to caution her to try to do certain things by myself, by herself. She said she provides for the house so she has no time for whatsoever and doesn't care. She sometimes shamelessly called me up to help her fix her bed and she will go out and come back very late and just go straight to bed. The husband was always home on time and I always kept him accompanied. I felt for this, his kind nature and before I knew it, we were so deeply in love. My niece claimed she doesn't care, but now I'm taking good care of this man and he is so happy and healthy. She is now painting me black. Okay? It, it just happened and it's far gone, the level to stop. I warned her and pleaded for her to act like a wife instead. She abused me and said, I, sh I know nothing about being a wife material. <laughs> Guys, yeah. It happened, I fell for this man and I don't think I can go back because it just happened like that. I thought I should clear my name off the story. Thanks. Okay, guys. Okay, so I have to look at the camera right now. So I will have to, okay, I've taken a lot of time on here already, more than 30 minutes already, just to get the story in place. So those of you who are new on the platform who don't know what's happening, or maybe for those of you who were there, know about the story just to refresh your minds. Guys, keep sharing the story, okay? Share, share, share. Keep sharing. Okay. So this is what I think about it before I get the lines open, okay? It's a lot of angles to look at this story. It's a lot of things that have happened. There, there's, there's two pregnancies. I think if the baby has been born now, okay, there's two pregnancies because a friend has been born. Um, um, a friend is also pregnant. Of course, she's not had a baby based on the calculations, okay, from then. I mean, given the gestation period of her pregnancy. Okay, so there's two kids in this story. There's a woman who is, well, has not yet, I wouldn't say barren, has not yet had a baby but for her husband. There's an auntie who has just had a baby. And then there is an auntie's friend who is pregnant for her husband. And then there's this husband who now wants the wife back. So it's been it's been a roller coaster of everything. Like, <laughs> guys, it's been that crazy. Okay, so I when I sat on, I was like, how do I get to counsel these people? How do I even tackle this? From what angle? From where do you begin to talk to these people? Okay, so I, I, I tried. I tried to come up with a lot of things. First of all, I'll just put some, talk about some few points. Okay, and this is my take on the story. I might not be able to exhaust it because of time, because I need you people to call and give your opinions. But hey, this is what I think about the entire story. This is these are some of the, the, the take home messages or the points that I picked out of the story. I'm not gonna try to be to favor anybody. I would just see how to point out, I will touch on the in fact three, leaving out the best friend. I, I don't she's inconsequential right now, the other best friend. I'll just try to touch on three different persons in this story. So one of the facts that I establish, I could establish is um, to trust your instincts. As a woman in a house, when you are in a house, God has given us, the woman, the sixth sense. I call it our instincts, okay? It is, it is, it is, it's so many times when a woman feels or thinks a particular way and feels something is wrong and then ignores it 
because that woman thinks okay it is just i'm just overthinking i'm overreacting or maybe it's just me thinking maybe it's just me being weird there is a reason why you had those thoughts whether for whether you were insecure or not there is a reason for it when you begin to think something is not right in your home i always say the wife especially is the one who holds the home. I did not say the wife is the one who the, the marriage is entirely dependent on the wife. I said the wife is the one who owns the home like that. There's a whole lot that happens in your house that should not go unnoticed. As a woman, as a wife, you should know some of these things. Things should not happen in your home. I said home, get the difference. That you do not understand or you do not see. So when you begin to think something is wrong, begin to believe it. Begin to, for a Christian woman, begin to pray over it. Begin to ask the Holy Spirit to reveal it to you even better, okay? So this is one of the things I realized. So she had instincts, but she pushed it aside. Just so that you guys know, you guys are the ones who will come and talk on this this thing. I just want to, want to pick out some things, some lessons on this particular topic, and then you will give your verdicts accordingly, okay? Um, the next one is, as a wife, understand that you are not indispensable. As crazy as this sounds, and I know that a lot of you will not buy this, okay? You are not indispensable to the point where you cannot be replaced, especially in an African setup. Guys, like I said, these are my views, and you might not get to agree with it. But this is what I got. You could be this powerful woman, you could be this woman who wants things in her home. Okay, I guess I should be talking and looking at the camera. It's just crazy, guys, how I have to look left, right, up, down, and all of that. Okay, you are not that indispensable. Guess, get what I mean. You can't be replaced, okay? It's a whole lot of Esthers who are replacing Vashtis for the same reason. And get the point, guys, like these people messed up. In fact, everybody in this story is a massive mess. Take off, taking off the kids, okay? Everybody in this story is a big mess. But like I said, these are just lessons that I think I, I, pick, I could pick up from there. So you, you don't leave the well-being. As I, I, I said this especially for working class women. See, this is the error, especially for those abroad. This is the error I see with most homes, with most people. We are so consumed in making money and we forget that there is a home. There is a husband. Yes, it is not a house, just a housemate. It is not just another guy. He is a husband, and the husband is the leader. And the husband means he has to be taken care of. Yes, this goes both ways. I will still just stop targeting that angle. There is no how you will have the best of both worlds. If you decide to chase pounds, dollars, francs, CFA, at the expense of your home, one thing, like I said always, if you've listened to me, one thing will suffer. You will choose what will suffer. It is either your home will suffer or your job will suffer. It is necessary to strike a balance. So there are some things you will bring out. The level of pounds some people chase at the expense of their families is not worth it. The level of pounds you chase at the expense of your children's destinies most often it's not worth it okay so some of these things happen as an eye opener just so we know there are loads of working class ladies on here and hey i always say that i'm an empowered woman there's no how i would not want another woman to be empowered matter of fact i sit here every day to empower you all but hey guys it is okay to keep your femininity femininity i didn't say feminism just so that we don't miss 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 you don't misquote me I'm sorry. Sorry about this, my rude attitude of always chewing. Sorry about that. Okay? See, it's okay to keep your feminism. Keep your feminism intact. Be a feminine woman. You can't carry all of these things. If you, as a woman, decide, I want to be a woman in every meaning of the word woman. God did not do ugly. He don't do ugly. So he, he made you a woman for a purpose. If you wanted to be a single woman, hard working, your job is everything, and all of that, it's fair enough. Nobody will insist that you go there and get married. But when you get married, you have to strike a balance because it's not just about your job anymore. There is a husband there to take care of. There are kids to take care of. And like I said, you will choose which one will suffer. So if you've decided 
I'm going to find my pounds, my all this thing, my career, I'm this career woman. Don't be surprised or don't be alarmed when your home begins to break. Just so we are clear on that, guys. This is just what that was just said. And just to know that as the most humble man out there, the most loving man, husband, can be pushed. Just so we know, guys. The most humble, loyal, faithful man could be pushed. Like I said, everybody has an elastic limit. I always tell us. It doesn't matter how much of self-control he has. It is everybody has their elastic limit. When you push somebody to the wall, the person will only, there's no further they can go, so they will only have to come back. I always say that. And be careful with people who are already on the floor. There is no further they can go, they will fight back. These things are true. Whether or not we come up with theories of, oh, uh, you cannot push people to do things. Whether or not we come up with, oh, you have to have self-control. Whether or not we say these things, guys, it is real. Okay? I'm trying as much as possible not to look in the comments so just so that I don't get distracted. The next thing I got from this story, okay, is the art of taking the blame. It is interesting to know that in all of this, this woman could take the blame, could take responsibility for her actions. It is interesting to know that after all of this, she sat and she was like, hey, see, I always say this on this platform, the people who are quick to take responsibility, they mess up, we all shit, guys. We all do. This world and life belongs to people who take responsibility and say, you know what, I messed up, but guess what, guys? I can clean my shit. I will clean my shit. I will not put the responsibility on another person. It is so many of us, we mess up. We do the wrong things. Like, yes, she mentioned that she messed up. She did the wrong thing and all of that. Who will not even admit to the fact that, oh, you know what? Let me take my own part of this blame. Who will not even sit and have a retrospect of their lives and their homes and how things have been happening and say, you know what? I think I messed up here. If I didn't do this, just maybe there's a chance that this person wouldn't have done this. Yes, it is a possibility. So it's too many things. I see uh, my mentor pitched today where he was talking about um, 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 how people, everybody, women tend, tend to blame men, um, a toxic feminist, who tend to blame men. They think the uh, uh, men are their problems, okay? It's everything that happens is a man, the fault of the man. So the woman is going through stress, the fault of the man. Anything about a woman is the fault of the man. So I, amazingly, he outlined the, 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 the problems women have or their source, the source of a woman's problem. And the man was the last on, on the list. So he mentioned that the first problem a woman has or source of a woman's problem is the, the, the Satan. The second is the woman herself. So a lot of these things happen because it is you. When you look within you, you realize some of these things happen because I let them happen. Because two people are there, the same scenario. One happens, one goes left, the other goes right. What happens? The decisions you make about yourself. Okay, guys, I'm not wearing my glasses so I can barely even read the comments. And another thing he mentioned, the third one was the media. The things you see in the media, like I said, I will come up here looking all glammed up, looking all polished, but you don't know when I take off this week and all of these things. The things you see on the media is your greatest enemy. It makes you feel incompetent, makes you feel less of yourself. So you become stressed, you become competitive negatively, you become all of these things, okay? These are the enemies of a woman, a lot more. I just want to keep summarizing that. And then I think the third one was... Um, uh, Another woman that was even in the tech position. A woman's problem is another woman. Another woman in tech position before the media is another woman. Then guess what, guys? The last before the man comes. Of course, there's no gain say that a lot of men out there are the ones who, the reason why some women are not thriving and not progressing, they're not doing, being the best of themselves is because of the men they are with. Because of the men they are, they, 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 they are. They, they got entangled with and all of these things. I just was just amazed by the fact that this woman could sit and take responsibility for her actions. This woman could sit and say, yes, I actually went wrong. It, it should 
minister to all of us listening because it is easy for us to come here and and throw all of these tantrums and and, and point fingers and say oh this woman is evil and this person is evil and this person is evil but guess what guys when we sit and like i said have a retrospect of everything that is happening in our respective marriages we see where we are to blame it starts with acceptance it starts with yes admitting that i did this thing wrong okay guys just so that we we are we are clear on this life is for those who this world is for those who take responsibility look at the girl who has messed up herself or whoever messed up herself or all the factors that i listed okay and another girl who messed up themselves and admitted the ones who admitted they're easy to move on with life because they know better not to repeat the things they did to have gotten themselves into that position then no flip side Look at another woman who thinks every other person is the problem. Look at a man who thinks everyone, in fact, the whole world is a problem. The woman is a problem. They have, in fact, nature is a problem. God is even a problem. Okay? And bet them. I hope you guys are understanding what I'm saying. Guys, call me hearts. Call me hearts, please. Even when you don't like what I'm saying. I know a lot of people will not like what I'm saying. Another thing, too, I would just make mention of um, is, um, let me see if I've skipped. Um okay it is one thing okay we talk about cheating we would we, we, we might get to handle why this cheating come on come, come up every now and then why women have joined this why all of this is, is happening why men will cheat i i always say okay that there is cheating and there is cheating it is one thing to cheat and yet another to cheat whatever that means but you guys get what i'm saying okay there's something we say in pigeon all the time, say shit for corner house to over smell. Okay. And, and that's true. There are times when a woman would, no, the man would cheat and then bring it in, into the house and the woman will sit and analyze it. Some people would divorce. Other people would stay. Other people would be angry. Other people would just be like, mm, okay, I can take responsibility. Like I said, like we, I just mentioned the, the times when the man will, the, the woman or the man, because it's both ways would run without even looking back and you know you know tear the divorce papers like that you know it depends on the level of the cheating it depends on the gravity as much as it is shameful and we've gotten to the point where we have to start categorizing cheating but these things are true a man who cheats with a woman a one night stand woman they met at a job place or the seminar that he traveled is not the same as a man who cheats with your best friend excuse you those are two different things a man who cheats with maybe a friend of yours an old schoolmate of yours or his ex is different from a man who cheats with your sibling hello a man who cheats with uh, um, um, uh, your sibling family sister you know a woman who cheats with the family is different from a man who cheats with, 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 with who rapes a baby guys you see these things i'm talking about right you see the difference this is exactly the difference between one couple and the other so you begin to ask yourself how forgiving one couple can be why is this woman packing her things out why is another woman see it's at the level of these things i'm mentioning it is real so coming back to what i was trying to say you cannot cheat for corner house the other smell like there is a thousand and one women out there who are willing to give themselves to you on a platter how why should it be your your, your wife of all the persons in the world it is your wife's mother literally speaking because this is the role you're playing regardless of the age difference why is it your wife's mother of all the people you could chat up a colleague at work as evil as that it doesn't take away the sin guys when we're talking about this thing we're not justifying sin we're not justifying we're just telling you that yes there are triggers to these things of all the persons in this world okay and another thing like i said in the beginning when you begin to see red flags when you begin to see the signs when you begin to see for the woman's part when you have an intuition do not ignore them on the other hand when you begin to realize that you're beginning to have feelings for this other party, it is time to say, you know what, move out. Take precautions immediately. Bible tells us, I would always refer to Bible, that it did not give us any other remedy. It did not give us any other therapy. It says to flee from sexual morality. See, with other sins, go and read about it. It's talking about 
Oh, pray, bind, cast, go for deliverance, read the word of God, renew your mind, um, um, speak in tongues, read the word of God. All of these things with the other sins, iniquities, sins, and all of those things, it will tell you, give you other ways, way out. You see, when it comes to the sin of the flesh, make no mistakes, guys, listening to me. There are no two ways. You will flee, otherwise you will fall. Do not sit there and start thinking. When it happened to this auntie, I am very certain there was a part of her that said, okay, this was just my, this is just my sisters, this is just my cousins or nieces, whatever, my, you know, this is like, this is like a brother to me. It starts like that. It usually starts like that. It starts when you even start having butterflies and you'll be like, eh, this thing cannot happen. You know, you're putting all the pictures out there. You're thinking, okay, it is just as far as it gets. No, there is, there is, it is only a matter of time. Like they just say, small picking dog, the make and so on. So small picking dog, the play, 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 play. Once you don't do mommy belly. It is as real and practical as I can say it. These things do happen. And like I would say again, it is only sheer wickedness for a person, a human being, a mother to, to take over the home of the daughter regardless it is sheer wickedness to take over the, the your horse your, your daughter's home like that and don't see anything wrong with it it is sheer wickedness to get to that level and then you you have the guts to come on the platform to say you want to clear your name clear what name when your name is clearly messed up in in, in a mud like that what name are you clearing what are you trying to say? What are you trying to do? Guys, I, 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 I guess, okay, it is almost an hour of me talking. It's a lot of things I want to say. I guess in the course of the show, okay, I would be able to, 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 to say other things. I wanted it to be one hour, then you guys can take the rest hour. But you know what? Because we have spoken a lot and you guys have been patient enough, I will keep the lines open now. While you are talking, I will just project there's a sound that went off, I'm not sure. Can you guys hear me, guys? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Feels like something went off. Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? Guys, keep pumping hearts, pump me hearts. Enough of them, okay? Like I said, it's always very encouraging. So um, I'll put the lines, I'll keep the lines open. Guys, I need to see it in the comments. The comments, it's taking long to come up, okay? I need to see it. Um, okay, okay, say so you can hear me. Okay, so the lines are officially open now, okay? I will, while you are talking, I'll just put it on speaker and then I project, okay? Like I said, it's too many things I have to do. I guess I have to always put my head like this just so that I'm seeing the camera. Because the camera is like up way, up, 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 above me. If you guys see what I did today. You, I need a PA, guys. For real, I do. I need a PA, but unfortunately, I would need a PA in the UK because it's too many things I can't be handling from afar. For real. I used to have a PA. The, the PA suddenly needs a PA too. You guys will not understand what I've just said. So... <laughs> Guys, you might want to call now, okay? The number is on the screen. Okay, guys. Um, yeah, the number is on the screen. Call through WhatsApp only. WhatsApp only. While I project some of the comments on the screen. Okay. So before you come on, okay? Well, well somebody is calling already. Please just bear with me. Let me say this so that you get, you get it as well. Please, okay? Um, so before you come, let me just make it easier for us. When you come, you might want to pick one person and speak to the person. So either to the mom, to the man, to the woman, to the auntie or the wife. So the wife, the husband, and the auntie in question. If you want to talk to the best friend who obviously is almost due, it's fine. But like I said, I think she's inconsequential. Okay. <laughs> Tell me about it. A PA needs a PA. So guys, um, if you when you come on, okay, uh, yes, yes, yes. I did put that somewhere. I'm not sure what I did. Sorry. Okay, um, something. Okay, I remember the thing I wanted to say about wrong foundations. 
I might say that at the end, hopefully I do not get to forget, um, wrong foundation, so I'll touch on that at the end, okay? Um, and, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, needed, I wanted to give you Sorry, guys. Sorry. I wanted to give you. <laughs> Not sure what I've done. Um. Okay. You know what? I'll just I'll just go with the flow. So when you call, okay. When you call. Please decide who to talk to, except maybe, okay, let me just, I guess I, I said that. Hello, Auntie Hello. 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 Welcome to the show. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Who are we talking with, please? You're talking to Fidelis Maggi. Fidelis Maggi, oh, why is it? Okay, go ahead, go on. Okay, hi, how is Cameroon today? Yaoundé today. How Cameroon? Yaoundé is cold, just cold everywhere. Right, right, I know. <laughs> you you guys are beginning to have winter in Cameroon, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay, go on, we're listening. Okay, mommy, for me to address this case, I will say, Actually, the lady, the lady actually pushed the man into doing all that he did. Okay, because go on, go on, so that I don't, I don't get to stop you. Just go on. Yeah, as humans, we we need love, care, and attention, and when you don't get it from somewhere, the next available person will actually get it from there. So, but we don't say the man is right doing all that he did, but actually. If the woman from the beginning she had taken very good care of her husband, I believe he would have not reached that level. Okay. Yeah, because from the base when you get married, the man actually discovered he got married to another man, and on two she on the ship there cannot be two captains. Mm. Okay. Yeah, actually, because if actually the woman was taking very good care of her husband. Because she said her husband changed because he was not uh, behaving like that at before. Yeah. So since the man changed, it was due to her attitude, due to what he discovered. Okay, so are you now trying um, to say that that was the only person that the war husband could, 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 could okay. actually mess around with? Let's just even agree to say with what you're saying. No, 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 no. That's what I don't actually encourage because the man he didn't have to take the girls and meet it relative uh, to do such a thing right but you know when you're suffering like um maybe you're going through a situation the next available person beside you you actually share your pains with the person and if actually you get comfort from there and i believe that's where all those things started okay I see. Okay. Yeah, so, okay. Okay. If you say so. Yeah. All right. Yeah, then. because when you're going when you're going through a situation and maybe you need somebody to console you or talk to, but for the auntie, she just took it as an opportunity to grab the man because actually the man was going through a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. So in this situation, auntie, what do you advise? Well, like I said, you would have to pick one person to advise, but if you can be quick as possible, you've got one more minute left, so you can, you know, see. What do you advise both of the, all of them? Actually, what I can say is, for the man, he has gone already very too, it's already too far, because everyone, the pregnancies, this, that, that, so, everything is understanding. If they can actually, because their marriage is on the line, Okay. The auntie, the auntie was just an opportunist who came in at the right time and striked. So are so you saying, are you, oh sorry, are you now saying that um, the husband and the wife should get back together because the wife, the husband wants the wife? Is that is that is that it? Mommy, it all depends on the couples. If they actually see they can be together and live happily, then 
who are we to say no? Okay, all right, my dear. You've exhausted your four minutes, and thank you so much for the contribution, my dear. Next caller, okay, please, Kibu. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Bye. Bye. Oops, sorry. Oh, sorry, I cut you. Uh, next caller. Hi, hi. Hello. 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 Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hello. Hello. Yes, please. Sorry, we can hear you now. Go on. Okay. The, the, the issue is uh, the thing is, I hear my friend uh, was talking about. Uh, Sorry, you, you didn't about, introduce uh, yourself, my dear. Sorry to cut you. So that you just... My name is Collins from Limbe. Okay, Morning. Collins from Limbe. Okay, hi, Collins. Go ahead. Okay. The, the, that, the, the guy that just left Collins was mentioning probably the uh, show. You mentioned something about was it right for the man to do that with the This thing we call the uh, nearness to raw material. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> <laughs> go on, bro. I don't want to tell you guys, so just so that I'm not interrupting with what you're saying, go on. Right. There is this thing about uh, when you go on with maybe the uh, uh, geography and uh, the raw waste the industrial region in Germany, if you study, you read, if you read, you read back then. Secondary school, you know, they hear about nearness to raw material. Most industries will locate around where they will get their raw material. The man was emotionally unstable. Mm -hmm. He was emotionally unstable. And uh, looking at the whole situation, it's not like he wished to do what he did, but since as the raw material was available, and at one point, that was what he needed. We know what he did is not good, but I was just that the 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 I don't think that I'm married. Say that again, Ibrek. You say nothing, say I don't think that I'm married. Okay, okay, because of a lot of things that we don't happen again. So maybe in the room, pretend to okay, it was like that. I do that. So the one of the all right all right thank you so much for your contribution i'm really happy hope we see you again in the comments <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was um, a brother calling from Limbe. Okay, next caller coming from, I guess this should be from America or Canada. Hello. Hi, Auntie Hi, sis. Welcome to the show. Thank you. This is Charlotte. Charlotte? Charlotte. Okay, Charlotte. Hi, sis. Welcome. Oh, it's good to have you. Thank you. Right. Um, where are you calling from, please? Calling from US. Calling from US. Okay, okay. The, the the floor is yours. We we're all ears. Can you be okay, can you try as much as possible to be audible, please? So yeah. So from my own point of view, <coughs> sorry. Bless you. Looking at the situation, what I will say is this that man was a chronic cheat. Yeah. He was a chronic cheat. And there is a way God does his things. He, you know, having an affair with the, the, the aunt of the niece, mm -hmm. and then escalating to go to the friend was, I think, God's way of exposing him. him. I think there's more to his lifestyle than meets the eye. Right. 
you're so, saying, okay, go on, sorry. So, my advice will be that the wife should not go back to him. Okay. Since she, she already knows, you know, the part she played in whatever thing that happened, she should move on, you know, and then from there, start a new life and correct the mistakes. Okay, That's so, my own little con contribution. Right, so in essence, you're saying that... Uh, the wife can take the, 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 the lesson she's learned to a different relationship and do better rather than staying in this old relationship and which is filled with, with filth and, and mess already. Yes, Auntie Deli. All right. Thank you so much, sis. Thank you. Thank you for calling. Thank you for the contributions. Yeah. I mean, they're listening. Other people with similar situations are listening as well. Okay, so thank you. Next caller, please. Let me see if I can project some of the comments. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Hello. Uh -oh. Okay, let me accept this one. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Okay. What? This is Ordinator Zombie. Hey, Papa. Ordinator Zombie. Welcome to the show, Papa. It's always good to have Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Right. We're listening. Uh, yeah, this topic is a very touchy topic, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I think this, this aunt, because most, most of the ladies who, who have been commenting have been putting all the blames on this, this man. I think the, both of them share the blames, even though the man has more blames to take. But this auntie really took advantage of this man's vulnerability and being weak. As a man, no men are so weak sometimes mm -hmm. when you mm -hmm. talk to sixteen women. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and it is said that when the desirable is unavailable, the available becomes what <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Yeah, it's it's true. When they want you know, the desirable is <laughs> very pita again. When, when the desirable is unavailable, the available becomes desirable. I see. So, Emmanuel, the bubble is a comment. I'm certain. Say, in the bubble, it will place with the person. I don't know. And there's one thing, there's one thing with this man. There's one thing with, with us men. When you find a man, when you find a man that is always comparing his wife to other women, mm -hmm. be very careful with this such men. Mm -hmm. Be very, very careful with such mm -hmm. men because mm -hmm. when they, they usually they find a difference. Maybe a improved, maybe a, a, a refined woman like their wife, they will go directly to cheating. Mm -hmm. You would understand this very act, this very act is a taboo. And I don't see how this marriage can work in the long run without issues concerning this thing in the future. Mm. I think they should just break up. Mm. It's really a sacrilege. Mm. Yeah, it's really a sacrilege. Mm. I, don't, I don't advise that woman to continue because if that man can do something like that to to her, right. then it means even if, if she has children with this man, the children's life or oh, their future would be really unstable. Right. Okay. Yeah, very, very unstable. All right. They, they have to share the blames. I see. All right, Papa. We, I think we've, we've heard yeah. you. I think they're listening. And of course, other yeah. people listening and, and learning. Thank you so much, Papa. See you yeah. in the comments again. Okay. Thank you. Cheers. Next caller, please. <laughs> guys <laughs> um yeah i see interesting uh, comments on here okay I, I it's it's crazy oh sorry 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 hello next caller hello hi welcome yeah. to the show yeah, thank you. This is Bob Gar from Alana. Bob Gar from Alan. Alan uh, Alana. <laughs> Atlanta. You uh, she could uh, pronounce properly. <laughs> I know I was just joking. Don't worry. <laughs> Hello. Anyways, uh yeah, thank thank you for having me on. I'm I'm gonna say this. Right. Whoever is whoever is defending that man is shameless as fan. Right. There's no doubt about it. Right. The, the, uh, his wife, I think she should just move on for peace of mind. Mm. She should move on for peace of mind and 
Sorry, sorry, sorry. Can you can you take that take that back again, please? The call actually messed up yours, so please, sorry about that. Oh, uh, hey, you're, you're coming. You're coming back from this. I mean, your husband cheats with your aunt, and then equally cheats, equally cheats on the aunt. There is no coming back from this. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> She should, she should just move on for peace of mind and secondly she should equally take this, this in her stride as a learning curve that no matter what career you can pursue being the first lady or the ceo or whatever you can you equally should make time as much as possible for your home for your spouse and for your family because all of them i i are as important for the people who are defending the men i don't know what they are thinking either they are using their sport pursuit or it is not right i am a man i when i see wrong wrong, wrong. wrong at all levels right and this is this is absolutely wrong this is disgusting because and i think the people who support this man they are feeding off toxic masculinity oh okay one one wrong does the wife has admitted her fault but i don't think that justifies the husband to sleep around right it, 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 it is not advisable she should move on because signal the show for face exactly the man probably is probably from his course as clearly as it is mm -hmm. and then can't get the woman sick again she's gonna have to relieve that trauma of being cheated on and then god knows what happened god knows what signals the man has carried so let her just move on for peace of mind as for the auntie and the, her best friend what goes around surely comes back around mm -hmm. Thank they you, sir. Uh, she's she's, <laughs> she's, she's, she's going to learn. She's going to learn. Right. Right. That's it. Thank you so much, my dear. That was an interesting take there. Okay. You're having You're some hearts, warm hearts from the comments. I guess every lady should, should be with this. I mean, few of them are against, though. But hey, thank you so much for the contributions, my dear. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you around. Bye. Uh, <laughs> guys you heard from him okay <laughs> um interesting comment from king gala saying that that man could arrange his home mm -hmm. wow so in in essence you're saying you don't buy the stance of the brother who just left the phone he would have gone to those who stood behind them as a witness to talk to her about their home not using his third leg as a solution oh okay so you're saying this Ah, I get it. I get it. So prior to all of this happening, he destroyed the home by not being real, by not being a real man. What a flirt. Okay. Right. I get you. I get you. Let me pick this other contact this call. Hey, hey. Yes, hello. hello, Auntie Delhi. Hey, welcome to the show. Uh, thank you very much, Natalie, from Cameroon. Hey, sis. Welcome. It's good to have you. Thank you, darling. Right. Thank you so much. We are all yes. here. Well, Yes, I have an advice to this lady. I wouldn't advise this lady to go back to, to this marriage mm -hmm. because it's already a very toxic relationship. Right. I mean, there are kids involved here. The husband already has a, a baby with the aunt. How are we going to call that child and the child that this other woman is going to bear with this other man? Jesus, this is outrageous. <laughs> I would never, never encourage this woman to go back into this toxic relationship mm. because for the sake of the children because the man will not even acknowledge the child with the auntie mm -hmm. at the end of the day mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, then, and the child now will be suffering so i think you should clean up this mess mm -hmm. you should move on and then the lady should move on oh okay so this is a, yes this is a very toxic relationship and we know some of the we know the consequences we know people who are out there who are suffering from this kind of relationship and i would never advise any woman to um to fall into the same situation again mm. this man i mean should have given the wife a second child so should have talked it out with the uh wife when he realized that the wife uh, was not doing it, uh the wife was not from here exactly but he never did that he fell into the wrong hands and now he wants to come back to this woman. I won't advise this woman to go back. But um, just, just, just to tweak it a bit, sis. I think that the both of them acknowledge that 
I think this has been a series of constant talking, talking to the woman, talking, talking, and talking, but she thinks otherwise. Yes, but he could have looked for someone else, not the client. I mean, it's like of course, no, we all, we are all, we all buy that because I, I said that because you said at some point that oh, it is because um, they, I mean, the man did not talk to the wife. You would have spoken to the wife. So I was just trying to let you know that they, he did over and over. Matter of fact, even the woman admitted. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if he did, then he could have equally gone out. And then what happened to the uh, uh, the artist or the, uh, <laughs> the wife's friend? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody said it was nearest to not nearness to not raw oh, material. Yeah, I guess right? the nearness just keeps going on. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I know. I don't even. That quote is as crazy as it sounds, man. All right, sis. <laughs> Thank you so much. so much sis thank you, sis. Thank you. Yeah. god bless you bye thank you, sweetie. <laughs> okay guys <laughs> next caller please i'm sorry you guys keep calling when somebody's talking so it's hard to really keep up like that okay and it, it interrupts with some of the calls it's interrupted and then the sound goes off well this would be a caller from the uk Hello. Hi, Barry. This is Solange speaking. Hi, Solange. Welcome to the show, sis. Yeah, hi. You. Calling from the UK, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm calling from the UK. Right. Okay, yeah. <laughs> We're all ears. Yeah, I'm a fan of your show. Mm. I'm Mr. Great Show. Great lady. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, regarding this late, uh, this case, I almost grew mad. I was like gluing my my eyes on your page, and my husband was like, "You always there, you always there." And I told him, "Come and see this case here." <laughs> and and when he read it, he went, "Sir, that's somebody who doesn't even speak French." Mm. So, yeah, so um, my advice, uh, some men might not tend to agree with me, but I'm a very blunt person. Mm -hmm. the thing, what the auntie did is unheard of. Right. It's already something that women are, are finding it so difficult to deal with it. Mm -hmm. So for the husband to start sleeping with the auntie, Mm. And the, the, the wife was considering that aunt in court mm -hmm. as, um, as a mother. As a mother, mm -hmm. it's an abomin it's an abomination. Right. As a sacrilege, I say, as it's not a sacrilege. I'm telling you, don't miss my words. <laughs> but then, I will not advise that woman to go back to the husband. She thinks it's already so much. What, 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 what is she gonna do with a bunch of kids? She doesn't have a kid okay. now, so maybe this is a way of having blessings. <laughs> Just being sarcastic. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> In order to keep her sanity, please I tell this lady she should look for another man. Mm -hmm. There are good people out there. You do not have to like. She, the, I don't. I don't understand. Some women feel they must be married before to be happy. Yeah. Yes. You have to have you, you need to have your own happiness before a, a man can only add to your happiness i always tell my friends this i'm married yeah but then mm -mm, i look for my own happiness then my children and my husband they can only add it mm -hmm. so tell this lady she should be on fast she should be on the run this man is evil right she should run it. yeah right. that's all i can all me. right sis. Thank, you for thank you so much thank you for the contributions mm -hmm. yes. Guys, you have heard from her. She is saying, and I reiterate on this all the time on this platform, that happiness is not external. It starts from within. It is how you view yourself. If you do not love yourself, no other person out there would give you that love. Every other thing should be a plus. 
So this is from a married woman. She knows that she loves the husband, loves the kids, and all of what she's acquired in marriage. But one thing that doesn't come second is her love for herself. Okay? You must not be married to be happy. Because this is what this is the mindset of a lot of young girls who get into all of these things. And and, and might not see where this is coming from. Because look at this auntie. There's some 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 things are not worth it, okay? Some things to me, in my opinion, are not worth it. You know, you would rather be single, you know, you would even rather be a baby mama somewhere than try to want to be married in this kind of circumstance. Because some of you just go out of the way to want to be called missus. You want to be called missus at any cost. You don't care whether it's somebody's husband. You don't care if it is even your relative. You don't care if you're compatible. You don't care if this is the right thing to do. You just want to be married. And these kind of things, these level of desperations, the reason why such things keep coming up or such hide my ideas will never end. Next caller. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hello, mommy. Demi is Juliet from Sweden. Hi, Juliet. Welcome, welcome, sweetheart. Thank you. Right. Um, yeah. So that all man will understand. Right. Flow, flow. Yeah, advice for going for that woman, for that man, the wife, the first woman, the one with the kicker out, way and the kicker out. Right. For for the sake of his peace, sanity, may not go back to that man. May move on with life. May that man handle a confused life as for he and see. I'm not sorry for her. She deserves it. Mm -hmm. Then I go advise the man, may marry and see this. Maybe the auntie feel the pain. What it mean to keep another man out of your house? You know, so this case is the teach you a lesson. What you, whatever thing you do, it will come back to you. You cannot destroy another person's home. Good thing I say the first wife the admit say it get old for but God don't just say that man is not man. Right. God don't just say that man is a bad man. You don't get anti belly, don't get anti shame, belly to Then the first wife may move on with life. Anti accept that you failed. Um, Oga marry anti best friend, period. Life, life, goes on. life goes on, my sister. Life is that simple. Thank you so much, my dear. Thank you. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> So you have what Sister Juliet said, okay, he's saying that, okay, so you do me, I do you. Life is a bitch. Karma is a bitch. Karma is real. Like, it comes back knocking, okay? What you give out is what you eventually get. I think that these things are nature. Like I always say, Bible teaches us these things, okay, that nature teaches us. Technology teaches us, I add, that these things are real. There's no how you sow a seed like that and it doesn't come back to you. Good measures, pressed down, shaken together, and all of these cause... You know, it did it, it not even make up to five years, did it? It didn't even wake up to the pregnancy coming to full term, did it? And then you have been served in the same coins, the same uh, uh, um, um, measure, and you cannot handle it. You can't, okay? I, it's crazy. I'm sorry, I left Florian's comment on the screen. Um, <laughs> let me see if I can project some more while the next caller comes in. Um, sorry, I'm sorry. I missed the call. Sorry, sorry. Call back, please. Call back. I'm sorry. Um, but wait, so is she even still thinking of staying in the months? No, she moved. She moved already. The thing is, oh, guys, I keep, this thing is really not good. Like, I keep talking and my head has to be down like that. Okay, sorry about this. Just bear with me. For those of you joining and don't understand why my head should be, it's, it's just down, down, and down. It is because of how my camera <laughs> is set. Like I said, I need an entire technical group to go set this thing up all the time for me. Okay, because we have rebranded and every one of these things need to need an expert now okay so let me take some of the comments okay and let me project more of the comments on the screen i see everybody talking about the divorce yeah divorce uh, cheating of course even the bible says it's a ground for divorce and like i said earlier there's cheating and there's cheating there's only how much i i i just wanted us to not focus only on the cheating but just to see the different aspects of this story that we can find ourselves in tomorrow okay 
I mentioned a lot. If you're just joining, you might want to check on the, exactly what I said at the beginning. And of course, the previous callers too, who have added some flesh on this. There are loads of people on here who really think that it's not worth it. Divorce is, is, is necessary. It's necessary. I am of that opinion as well. I always say divorce is an option. If you followed me for a long time, you know that I say divorce is an option. It is clearly an option. There's no marriage is a beautiful inst institution, but it's not a do or die. God said, "What whatever man God, um, 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 God has put together, let no man put asunder." Like I always tell you, people, it is clear. The Bible is clear on some things. What God has put together, what God that is the noun. The noun there was God. What God has put together. It did not say what Doki put together. It did not say what a uh, 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 charm put together. It did not say what uh, money put together. It did not say what side chick put together. What God has put together. Some of me, I'm of that school of thought which says some marriages should be broken. I am serious. So you might differ with me, but hey, you know, that's how I see it. Some marriages should be broken. My God, that's that's a that's a that's a that's a comment. It's taking the entire screen. Odinata Zambe has been here, called before, always calling, always supporting. Thank you. Before I read your comment, it says ladies should not always rush into getting married, into marriage, just to get a, a change of status. Some get married to men they have never even met. My dear, talk, tell me about it. Um, some just get introduced, and the next minute you are at the altar with him. See, that's why we always recommend counseling before marriage because it's so important. Most people get married, but deep in their minds, they are still single. A married has to prioritize his family. I guess he wanted to say a married man. A married man has to prioritize his family. Even if you want to cheat, must cheat with some respect for yourself in your family for, uh, and your family name. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was a brilliant comment there, Ordinate Zambe. I always say, shit for corner house, the over smell. I say we all shit, but some people clean their shit really well. Some people leave their shit to be cleaned by others. Sorry, I, I projected the wrong one. You know, some people leave their shit to be cleaned by others. Some people shit in the open. Some people, but like I said, if you shit there, Siam, find toilet shit for the flush them. You know, people would not even know. And like I said, it is true. There is a lesser evil. I belong to that school of thought. I always say these things. I have been hard on. I'm sorry, I'm going to pick it up, okay? Just, let me just say this. I have literally been very, I've talked about um, abstinence. Of course, I've, uh, like I said, I am already a broken record. I sound like a broken record when it comes to these, these principles, these rules, all of these things. But like I said, life is a choice. I have said these things and I'm saying that there are some lesser evil. We cannot, in this dispensation, not talk about this lesser evil. We must talk about them. If truly we want to have reasonable conversations we are beginning to start talking about them you will get to the point where you would see your teenage daughter and say you know what rather than having hiv there is such a thing as condom you will get to that level where you'll be like you know what rather than aborting this child maybe dying in the process and maybe destroying your womb what about just keeping this child taking responsibility you will get to a point where you'll be like at least you know um, um, know your safe period before you even get indulge in sex, before you get to the point where, oh, you have to, the whole world now has to stand still because they have to take care of a child and all of that. It's too many of these things, like I said, at least the lesser evil, it is. it doesn't change the fact that it is still sin. It doesn't change the fact that it is punishable. It only changes the repercussions, the effect, the side effect of it. Two people have sinned. They committed fornication or they committed adultery. One comes out free. I mean, in terms of there is no pregnancy attached to it. The other one went, not to, apart from pregnancy, got carried away by disease and all of that. You tell me, you know. So these things are like I always insist and I say it's better. It is better. So I do not say that it is it's that the best way. The best way is to keep yourself and follow like the Bible recommends. Okay. Some ladies are killing themselves in the comment here. Let me take a comment from B. Helen. B. Helen says, it doesn't matter the length of time to be with before getting married, cheat, not cheat, even if you be with a man for 10 years. Like I said, of course, if you listen to us at the beginning, nobody is justifying cheat. No. But there are some things you see in a relationship which are red flags. There are some things you see, you know that there are some people who would never cheat. 
until it gets out of hand. There are some people like Odinate Zambe putting respect and cheating in one sentence really doesn't it doesn't sit well with a lot of people. But I get the point where he's coming from. To say that you cheat, cheat with your friend, wife's friend, your friend, your, your wife, your friend one pass, you wipe up. You want one pass, you wipe up. You can't say small get you wipe up. That's what he's talking about, respect. But as a man, you will kill their wives before they believe that they actually their, their husbands are cheating. Mm -hmm. Just so you know that you will literally kill somebody, a woman, to be to tell them because there's no evidence. There's never a way the man has never in any way insinuated or proven or shown or in any way acted unbecomingly for the woman to think is he cheating? Most likely, maybe he's cheating. He could be cheating. Yes, he is cheating. But guess what? The women will. So that's the kind of that's when we talk about respect. That is that's literally it. And then as a young girl, you want to get married to a guy. This guy is here talking about all of these things. And guess what? You see him sleeping with your friends, sleeping with all of these people. You still get into it in the name of all men cheat. And you start crying at the end of the day. My dear, see here, there is cheating and there is cheating. Make no mistakes. So if you have decided that, oh, this is my school of thought, um, all men cheat. And you think if he's sleeping around, it's fine. It's fine. Like I said, life is a choice. But choose what you would tolerate in marriage properly. Choose it wisely. Okay, guys, choose it wisely. Emanuela, are you there? I never hear from you. I've not heard from you. He shoots on whatever is alive. Um, Nadine, Nadine says, uh, yeah, okay. Some, some men, you know, no shame whatsoever in all of these things. They don't have any shame. That all men cheat the over by my belly. I tell I tell you, <laughs> all men cheat cheating the over by my. I know, right? Because some women sometimes I, I talk, I say these things that it's, it's it's just how low you see yourself to go about saying ah all men cheat. It rains everywhere. Trust me, most of these girls who say this, it is lack of self respect, low self esteem. When you see a woman has gotten to that point where you know what man na man, it is your inside. It is your it is your your value systems are distorted. It is a dysfunction on your part, not even the part of the man. Because there are, like I said, there are men who will not cheat on other women. They will date them. You will hear a man say, I, I dated that girl, I did not cheat. Then when they got to you, they're cheating everywhere, every second, and in front of you, even in your nose, they're cheating. Why? Value systems. Why? Self-respect. Why? Self-esteem. Why? How? How strong you are inside, how much of self-love you have, okay? Because you're not, it is it is a choice. You're not, it's not a gunpoint, like I always say, okay? Um, yes, you can call back, you can call back, please do. <laughs> but that is welcome on call back, you can call back, please. <laughs> okay. So I'm, I'm really happy. We went on. I was I was really worried at the start of the show that, okay, we'll not be able to take comments and take all of these things and talk. But hey, we will. Like I said, I have something to say at the end of the show. I've said it. I've said literally, I'm just, you see why I really don't comment again? Because it's only these things repeating themselves. And I'm, like I said, I'm beginning to repeat myself over and over. That's why I said, we, you know, we thought other people coming on board to give their views would, mat would make, you know, all the difference. I, I I really I need you people to 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 give your own you know, side of things. I wanted to talk about. I'll still talk about it though. I was like I said. I was I was thinking. Oh my God! Time or time time time. But it's amazing that we've had to cover a lot in such a short space of time. Okay. So um, King, I say I did boil like beans now. So some men really take women for granted. You would have taken your wife back since when this case came out. Exactly. And that's another way to look at it. Because you know, when this woman came crying and apologizing, that was a moment if you thought you wanted to make peace. You said you love your wife. And that was a time for you to make peace. But I guess you were so much in it. You were already so deeply rooted, maybe premeditated, all of these things. Or like somebody mentioned, this was your lifestyle. And you want now to act as though it is, um, you know, it is... You know, it is it is strictly because of the way you were treated. Hello. Hello. 
<laughs> I beg before you bob a boy kiss on my day, just just calm down before you keep us in. Emanuela in the building, guys. From her heart, from heart, guys, heart, 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 heart. I've not seen anything again because setup has changed, everything has changed. Yeah, welcome to the show, sweetheart. Hey, I sis. No, I'm not going to bubble. First, you're doing a good job. This whole thing is a new setup. Yeah, I really see. Honestly, I tell you, you're trying. Thank you. I won't be able to do this. Yeah, this technical stuff. Okay, so <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is this: this, um, you know, you've made a lot of good points already about the blame. Everyone should take his or her blame in the whole part. So I'm not going to belabor that again. But I want to be a case specific now. I want to look at this case in particular. This man had the spirit of cheating in him. Mm -hmm. Because we really keep saying that you don't have to eat. I mean, like, seriously, how do you start by taking your mother-in-law and you even want to stand to be among <laughs> the people to defend yourself? How does it work? How do you, I mean, who does that? Who does that? It's your mother-in-law. Your mother-in-law who doesn't even sound remorseful about it. She finds everything very normal about it. It's mm -hmm. really okay. Mm -hmm. And before we know it, less than five months, mother-in-law comes. I don't want to call her aunt because it sounds really far. That's her mother-in-law. That's right. his mother-in-law. And before we know it, mother-in-law comes complaining that best friend has been taken. Mm -hmm. And then we want to even say anything about uh, defending. I see some men really defending this man, trying to say the wife did. Yes, she did whatever and she admitted, yeah. You push your husband, he will cheat. Then must he cheat with your own mother? And before you know it, he's sleeping again with the mother's best friend. So to be case specific, I would say, um, I will, let me start first of all by advising who I want to advise. Let me advise this mother-in-law slash auntie. <laughs> so potential aunts out there, if you plan on taking your daughter's husband. However in the that name works, of, however that works. Yes, however it works. If you plan on taking your daughter's husband because she was asking you to help, of which you could just walk out of her home mm -hmm. instead of sleeping with her man, right. you should know that you paid yearly for that. <laughs> I'm talking about not just, just this aunt because she's already paying. She's paying even though she doesn't know she's paying because she came back crying to you. Mm -hmm. Not because she was impossible, but it's like, I lose my husband. She was calling this man her husband for crying out loud. I know, I know, right, 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 right. She actually, right, like, really? Which husband are we talking about? Really? Which husband are we talking about? So she wasn't remorseful. So let me talk to potential aunts out there who are, who are still planning to do this. Please, and if you are thinking about doing this, drop it, auntie. Drop it. Don't even do that. Now, if I have to advise this lady or these people whether this marriage should work or not, you know, we talk about choices. Mm -hmm. I want to start by the fact that we all have choices. Yeah. And this is one of those cases where I would really not like to waste my, my advice. <laughs> I would be so bad, you know, <laughs> because there's no way I'm going to say, sis, you know what, don't take this man. And tomorrow before we know it, the case is coming. You know, I took him back. I know, right? Alone. Of course, exactly. Because, you know. Yeah, then as I, as, yes, I start feeling like, how, how, how did I get to this level of wasting my advice? <laughs> I want to do that. She but, should know what to do. Exactly. But there's one yes, there's one thing I'm wondering about. Where did the man get the courage to come back and say he wants his wife back? That's what I'm wondering. And if someone hears me wondering that, then you already know my stand. How did he even come about it? No shame, no remorse, nothing. You just want your wife back. Is that how life goes? Mm, they were, they were apologizing now. Like uh, apologizing. Uh, when people apologize, you take them. God doesn't like divorce. Exactly. You know, okay, thank you for this. And there's a comment that one, one uh, a comment, uh, somebody just made that, that is so, I mean, and I was like, it took the angel of God to convince Joseph not to drop Mary. Mm. When they knew they would discover that Mary would be pregnant, mm -hmm. it took the angel of God to convince, and this is New Testament we are talking about for crying out loud. Mm. This means that even God knew that Joseph might not be able to stand it, and Joseph would want to drop Mary. So God had to send someone to encourage, to convince Joseph not to do it. Mm -hmm. What are we talking about here? Mm -hmm. What are we talking mm -hmm. about? Mm -hmm. So let her just, it's her decision. Let her do it if she wants, but she has the price to pay if she has to do that. Mm -hmm. But I'm still I'm amazed at the courage of this brother, 
husband, whatever. I would have said that you should quietly want to get married to this second wife or mother-in-law's best friend because they are good together. Mm -hmm. And then because I feel like now he's missing the financial support the woman was bringing in. Uh, that's kind of something I feel, mm -hmm. unfortunately. That's the way I feel. Yeah. But whatever the case is for those listening, things like this we should really avoid. There's no need trying to defend something like this. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I don't see it. Yeah. I, I hope this lady, she can learn her lesson. If she gets married to another man, she will know that she's a woman. I don't even know why are women trying to be men when it's so sweet. To be a to woman, be a like woman. tell me about it. Like, why? It's so sweet to why? Be a woman. And men who are trying to be men for crying out loud. How do you do that? How do you cope? How do you ah, cope? Anyways. How? So, since before I end, I want to say I don't try to do man na man in a work. You see, I know, you know, yeah, I don't try in a work. So, man na man, no, na is a bit. Man na man. I will come over the phone, come over here, come on. <laughs> guys that was emanuela actually you know of course it's expected i mean she made loads of valid points and especially on the fact that you 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 know this this i <laughs> this please i beg this thing about man a man whoever now she made she said something that was really interesting you see i always when i was talking about taking responsibilities hey guys those who take responsibilities think about they rarely come for for hide my ideas they rarely do come for hype my ideas. They are those ones who have decided not to take responsibility. That's why it was shocking to everybody that you of all this auntie, after everything that has happened, you could still get to this point of, you know, coming back to claim somebody that is you clearly stole shamelessly from, from your, your family, your daughter, and you're still coming back to... So these are the things that I don't get. Like, you don't know that this was going to play in front of you again, like, almost immediately. You don't know it. Like, we had to tell you that. Because this is the problem I have with people who act like this. I've said this so many times. Life's not choice. If you want chop shit, eh, chop your shit. But it's crazy to know that you chop shit, the talk says shit, the smell. I, you did not know that? Like, you don't know? That's my major concern with a lot of, especially at the West Coast, this thing, we find this thing, especially with women. Especially with the women. They would do things, act one way, talk about, uh, with somebody mentioned about um, the things you see in relationship. You know that this person is doing this thing. This is the way this man has shown you that this is how they are. This auntie is coming here knowing fully well, guys, that this, if this woman, the way you get them is the same way you lose them. I've said this on this platform, right? Like I said, I'm repeating myself. You know how you got this man. And your friend is taking, and this, this chain continues because that friend, obviously, next thing she will show up on here coming that another friend has taken because of, oh, it's obvious it's a community penis like that. But hey, I was saying, you know how you got this man. Somebody snatched it. Guess what? In my position, I'm not saying that I'm a perfect human being. I did that. If I did that, guess what? I'll just hide myself with shame. I'll just go back to say, Chai, life will. I'll just pick up myself and move on from there. You know, I think that that's how people who truly make errors and take responsibility, this is how they function. They will not come on the platform playing pity party, wallowing in, in, in misery, and, 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 and insisting that the person should pay. No, pay, have you paid yours? Because it was like, this man has to be paid in his own family. Like, have you paid yours? You see how, see, you see, we're, we're talking about these things, ladies, guys, gentlemen, and it feels like, Oh, uh, nada, nada, and see where we snatch a person, man, for daily match up. See, get into our homes, get into our homes, and see these things replaying themselves like this. Get on this platform on a daily and see these sort of exceptional cases in different words. You think it cannot happen to you? Like I, I would say, no woman is irre 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 irreplaceable, no man is irreplaceable. Don't think you are indispensable. These things are real, it's going to happen. All of these things can happen to you so don't only think we sit here we learn all of these things we're learning i said i was going to say something before i round up the show you know this issue of wrong foundation as crazy as this sounds my mentor actually mentions it in the two two um i think two sundays back we're talking about um he used different words though you know um wrong foundation right principles wrong um wrong husband 
right principles, perfect marriage, right husband or wife, wrong principles, disaster. And as crazy as it sounds, see, when it, marriage is hard work, guys, you don't get married and fold your arms and sit there and expect things to just make happen. This is two people coming together, putting their resources together, putting their gifts together and, 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 and to make it work. It, it, it takes two to tango. It goes both ways. But I belong to the school of thought which says that you have roles in marriage. People don't agree. I do. The man has roles. There are feminine roles. There are masculine roles. There are things a man should not be seen doing in marriage. There are things a woman should not be seen doing in marriage. Okay? If anything that should happen, then it's a temporal time, temporal position that they're taking for whatever reasons, you no, know, just so they can assist. It doesn't mean that that is it becomes because what we're doing was we're, we're flipping these things, we're turning, um, reversing the order, all of these things. A woman is not the head of the home, it's the man. If you reverse that order, I don't care what principles, what whatever love you try to, to, to portray, it is not going to work. You see, all of these things matters. I was about to talk about uh, what my mentor talked. He mentioned this and he break he break it down like that. But I use different words. Of course, I heard it from his mentor too. So, like I said, he's a mentor of a mentor, so he's a mentor too. He talked about the principle of nature and nurture. And and see, guys, this thing is true. Let me just round up with this. These foundations will matter. If the foundations be destroyed, how will couples do what will couples do what will how will the, the marriage even last if your foundation is destroyed the foundation is the main thing of the house the major part of the house that's the major part but again the foundation the house the foundation cannot accommodate without the entire structure standing up every part is important just like the body but there are some parts that are more important than others and the parts that are more important than others in the human bodies are the ones that are not seen it is typical of the foundation when you look at the foundation it goes down like it's rooted because it is the most important part of the house it is standing or the duration of that house will depend on how solid the foundation is now with that with that sort of uh, having said all of that this principle of nature and nurture God has created us, okay? He has said we should thrive, we should prosper, giving us gifts, talents, and all of these things. Even in marriage, he has equipped us already. We say God don't do all things, he don't finish. Now, you get to that level where the principle of nature is natural endowment, okay? It's natural endowment. Now, there's some people who do these media works like I do. They naturally are gifted. They don't need to study. But that, guess what, guys? He said it constitutes just 30% of success, meaning that for me to be an excellent presenter, for me to be an excellent media personality, I will not end at the 30% gift that God has given to me. Because it is a failed mark, unfortunately. If it is a past mark and then it is that, then there's no point to do anything anymore. Okay? So God has given us 0 to 30 Meaning, I said the 0 to 30%, that is nature, natural. It is still a failed map, and this is only 100. And he broke this thing down. It was super awesome. And when my mentor mentioned this thing, and he explained it in a very relatable way, I mean, I was, I, was, um, I, was, I was marveled with the way they explained it. Now, he said, when you come in this world, we all come into this world, we are faced with maximum is 30% of success. And it's a failed map. So if you sit every day, oh, God has blessed me with this talent, and you fold your arms, guess what? There are people who came with zero, no talent, but guess what? Nurturing. They have nurtured, they have studied, they don't sleep, they take out time, they do research, they put these things together, they have mentors to teach them. It becomes a different thing. That's what my mentor was talking about. <clears throat> Wrong spouse right principles awesome marriage right spouse wrong principles disaster so this goes to each and every one of us listening to me married or single know that god can give you a perfect gift an awesome gift it is just 30 percent. still it is left for you to work on it this is hard work the roles begin to check the roles and responsibilities that you as a woman have been called to do likewise the man don't go swapping roles except for very exceptional cases. 
Otherwise, it is a matter of time and the marriage is bound to crash. Okay, guys, I hope that I've explained this thing. This thing is just, just not just limited to marriage. This is a marriage. This is a relationship hop. So literally 90% of everything we talk on here is relationship. Okay, so guys, bear with me so that you know. Don't come and start saying, why are people not talking about other things, other things? This is a relationship hop. But hey, what I've just explained applies to every other thing. That's why I was talking about talents. I use motivational speakers. I use the media personalities. I use any other field you find yourself in. Okay, guys? So this is it. I hope that these people listening to me, you know, they, 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 they've taken one thing or the other from the show. You people listening to me have a similar situation. I hope that. I know that listening to me, you must have picked out one thing, okay? Even if it just means um, knowing how to draw your lashes like this, your eyebrows like that. It's still something, okay? <laughs> guys, don't mind me. I'm so I'm crazy like that sometimes. So okay, guys, put me hard, put me hard before we leave. And let me let me say this again. Know that, okay, I am um if you of course I've I always try to give um, uh, uh, <laughs> what's the word? Um, um I don't know what, what, what happened to the word, it disappeared, okay? Um, so I am, this platform has been restructured, like you guys have seen. It is open for adverts, it's open for publicity. You want to advertise anything, please feel free to come on here and send it. We will push it, put it, we will pass it on. It depends on what, what whatever uh, bargain you and I have, okay? And to come on here and, and do it, you can probably, you can, you can, businesses are open okay advertise your businesses and all of that we, we we can get a package for you of course and then you get other people people ex i mean us to expose your business like that any other thing and um, like i said um, you will be having more of um, relationship hot topics um, with emanuela bisong and denzel and you will be having mr roland formundam this is the most interesting bit about it guys before you leave mr roland formundam is an entrepreneur for excellence. He's one of those youths that I look up to. He's like a mentor too. He is a mentor in, 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 in literally to me. He he has targeted the agricultural sector, okay? I wanted this platform to not just come here and hide my IDs all the time, learn other things. So he will come on here. I will not be talking literally. I don't know how to mentor people in our own entrepreneurship. But for those of you who have also constantly ask me you want to get a platform like this you want to do things that i'm doing or other things but you don't know how to go about it you need mentorship roland formundan stands a better chance a better place he's more equipped than i am to talk to you and to lead you through especially startup businesses he's going to be doing giveaways i know you love giveaways he's going to help you pitch your ideas business ideas like that okay and daddy my mentor i know you're listening to me Please, I need you to come on this platform. You, my All these followers, they've been waiting for you. I promise them it's been more than two years ago that you're coming on here. I always tell you people that you people think that, oh, I get sense and all that. When you hear my mentor speak, you know that some of us have not even started. He's going to come on here and bless this, officially bless this platform because we've changed everything. And of course, send the ball rolling. We need his blessings on here, okay? So you're going to see my father come on here. And do this so guys if you have your your businesses please feel free to do it i am an influencer so i i do and like i said i always say that i i only market or do brand ambassadorship for companies or activities or businesses whose value systems align with mine so don't come and tell me to do something that i cannot do and when i reject it you start thinking that oh i was just being mean with you so that let's just get it straight i have a value system and that is what pushes me or motivates me to do whatever I'm doing. So I pass it through my value systems like that. Okay, guys. And I'm also, you're going to be hearing about skin, a skin product. It's natural, it's organic um, by my, my boss. Like I said, you guys should just bear with us. But for now, you want to purchase your products to have a glowing skin like mine. Check me out. Hey, right. Get on Escape by Edit. So escape by edit, you would get on there, get on Google, get on the website and you can put everything in your basket. Because when you start buying on, on there, you would, trust me, you will not leave any any of those those, those, ten, those stones unturned. You want to put everything, face, 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 wash, serum. You have the serum, but hey, 
you see my dark skin is still there just so we are clear on the fact that this is not a lightening skin product it is nothing it just brings out the glow okay and it says that improves on your confidence level he would see when she comes on here she will tell you these things better i don't i can't properly put it like that but hey escape is the way forward escape by 80 delight is the way forward guys you would see more of these things on here okay we'll continue with our exceptional cases okay i will put post them but the work is becoming too too, too much for me um dr christabel based in the U.S., okay, I think that's another person that might be, it is not yet concluded, uh, confirmed, might be coming on here to, con to, to, to take on the health slot, okay, just so that we can ask our questions. So, hey, that is much of is transformed like that. We started with one seed, and it has grown into this massive forest, and we can only continue. It does, it's not, it's not ending anytime soon, guys. We're getting to another level so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for the patience thank you for those who called thank you for the contributions thank you for the for the the people who trusted these platforms who have brought their story um see you again sunday next week same time okay except otherwise then we'll adjust one or two things but so far sunday next um, um, same time okay same venue thank you guys so much happy mother's day to all of you i love you from my heart to yours. Pop me hearts for the rest of you. We still have 142 people watching. Pop me 142 hearts right away before I leave you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Let me play this my song before I leave. Sweet mother, I never forget you. For this so far away, you're so far from me. Yeah. Sweet mother, I never forget you. For this so far away, you're so far from me. Yeah. Wendy Media in the building, that's my sister. We come from way back. Thank you so much for all the, oh, my technical crew. Thank you. Wendy Media, thank you, sister. Thank you, Gwendolyn Fongo. Thank you. You took me through this thing. I hope that you're impressed with how much I did, okay? I was already forgetting that. Thank you, guys. Keep pumping me hearts. You're not leaving now. Pump me more hearts. Pump me more hearts. Pump